Hello, my name is Yuan Xu, and today I'm going to introduce our paper named as Graph Learning Based Generation of Abstractions for Reinforcement Learning. This work is jointly done with Daniel Kudenko and Mega Gosla. Despite increasing popularity in recent years, reinforcement learning still suffers from high sample complexity and low convergence rate, especially when facing complex domains with sparse reward. For example, in this grid war navigation problem, an agent is supposed to start from S and reach the goal marked as G. The reward is sparse since the only positive reward is given by reaching the goal, and that just slows down the learning process. In this work, we give a novel approach for accelerating traditional reinforcement learning algorithms while requiring little external knowledge. And we'll be sticking with this grid work in the following slides. Then I want to mention potential-based reward shipping, which is a well-known technique to speed up the learning process by giving the agent an extrinsic reward while keeping the optimal policy unchanged. The extrinsic reward is then determined by the difference of potential values between two states. Then it is important to find the proper potential function. A potential function can be found by solving an abstract version of task, which can be depicted by an abstract Markov decision process, so-called AMDP. Similarly, an AMDP consists of abstract states, actions, rewards, and transition probabilities. To build an AMDP, the first thing to do is aggregating ground states into abstract states. The abstraction of states used to be done manually by domain experts, for example, as shown in the image below, in this grid world, all the ground states are manually aggregated into eight abstract states. However, this job can be expensive and infeasible when facing complex problems. So it is meaningful to automate the construction of the abstraction. There is an existing simple way to build AMDP, which uniformly partitions the whole environment into blocks or abstract states as shown in the image below. We refer to this simple approach as uniform approach. The rest of elements in the AMDP are determined based on the adjacency relationship among all abstract states and position of the goal state. Then we can use dynamic programming to compute the value function for the AMDP that is also presented in the image below in heat map. Then reward shipping is based on the difference of potential values between two abstract states. More intuitively, the agent will be guided from darker blocks to lighter blocks on the heat map. However, the AMDP generated by the uniform approach is not perfect. The consequent reward shipping is not accurate enough and it would partially mislead the ground learning process. More specifically, in the same abstract state, two ground states could be topologically pretty far from each other but sharing the same potential value. Besides, in certain areas, reward shipping from uniform approach could even prevent the agent from learning the optimal policy. In this work, we propose a novel approach to generate high quality AMDP automatically, which preserves topological and reward structure of the environment. Consequently, the reward shipping derived from AMDP can stably and accurately steer the agent to more rewarding behaviors. The framework of our approach has four phases. We start with exploring the environment, then learn state representations based on experiences during exploration, and then construct and solve the AMDP Finally, the solution of AMDP is used for reward shaping to guide the ground learning process. Before I introduce how to do exploration, let's make the environment a bit more complex. Now we add some states of traps marked as T. Getting to them will cause huge negative rewards. During exploration, the agent prefers to visit states with lower basic counts. In addition, the agent also tries to avoid traps. Once they get into them, then it is relatively hard to come out again. As shown in this heat map of visicons below, this results in not only wide and uniform exploration, but also frequent co-occurrence of states sharing similar topological and reward structure. During exploration, no updates will be done for the quant learning process. The experiences in form of state sequences will be stored for the next phase. Here, we note that state transition in stored experiences induce a graph structure of the ground level MDP. And inspired by recent graph learning methods, we use a skip ground model to generate state representations. Consequently, the information of topology and reward structure are encoded into the representations. Then representations are clustered into abstract states. As you can see in image below, the states in each abstract state 
are topologically close to each other and states of traps are aggregated into a single abstract state. The combination of clustering and stored experiences can induce a complete AMDP. Then the solved AMDP is presented on the right side below where abstract states closer to the goal state get higher values, except the abstract state of traps, which gets much lower value than its neighbors. One can try to simulate a successful path to the goal by following the color on the heat map from darker to lighter regions, where traps will certainly be avoided. Now let's compare our approach with uniform approach. Additionally, we also solved the Guan level MDP to get the optimal policy, as you can see in the image at the top right. Our approach can preserve both topological and reward structure of the environment into the AMDP so that it can keep giving the agent correct guidance that agrees with the Guan value function. In comparison, uniform approach guides the agent straight to the goal state, which looks correct on the abstract level, but actually causes huge negative reward crossing the traps. For experiments, we worked on flat collection domain, which is an even more complex scenario. As you can see, these are four different mazes of flat collection domain. The agent is supposed to start from the red cell, collect three flags in yellow cells, and finally reach the green cell. Once the green cell is reached, the current episode will be determinated no matter how many flags are collected. Here I'm showing the performance comparison between two approaches after 500 episodes of Guan learning. We evaluate both approaches from three angles, flags against the episode, reward against the episode, and reward against the total steps costed among all episodes so far. The third angle especially shows sample efficiency of both approaches. T refers to our approach and U refers to uniform approach. Using the same number of abstract states, our approach can stably and successfully converge. In Maze Basic, both approaches converge to the same level of reward performance, but our approach heavily outperforms uniform approach in terms of sample efficiency. In Maze Low Connectivity, uniform approaches fails to collect all flags. Similar results are also observed in other Maze variants. We also evaluate both approaches under different numbers of abstract states. The left column is for our approach and the right column is for uniform approach. For example, T9 indicates the lowest number of abstract states and T36 indicates the highest. We showcase that our approach is less sensitive to different mazes and numbers of abstract states. The performance of fixed number of abstract states is stable among all mazes and the efficacy of reward shipping from AMDP gets improved as the number of abstract states increases. In comparison, the performance of uniform approach is quite unstable and unpredictable. The better choice of number of abstract states in one maze is not necessarily better in another. We also compared runtime consumption between two approaches. Our approach drastically reduced Guan learning time compared to uniform approach. The additional three procedures of pre-processing of our approach are kept in a low level of time consumption. Overall, the total time consumption is substantially reduced. In conclusion, we proposed a novel approach to generate high quality AMDP for accelerating reinforcement learning algorithms. The generated AMDP preserves topological and reward structure of the environment so that reward shipping can provide accurate guidance to the agent. At the same time, our approach requires little domain knowledge to build AMDP. In terms of experiment results, we show impressive performance improvements over the uniform approach. Regarding future work, it will be worth doing more experiments for scenarios with non-deterministic abstract transitions, and we would also try to transfer our approach onto deep reinforcement learning models. That's all. Thanks for your attention.